Welcome to Academic Game Tutorials. The topic of today's class is heating and pouring. We are studying fundamentals of metal casting and metals for casting. We will cover all related topics one by one. Before starting, if you haven't subscribed to this channel yet, just click on subscribe and press the bell icon. Here, we come up with new videos on different subjects to make the academic studies easier for you. So, into the topic. When we say casting, it involves heating the metal to melt it, and pouring the molten metal into the mold cavity before letting it to freeze. So, when we are discussing heating and pouring, we should start with heating the metal. Heating furnaces of various kinds are used to heat the metal to a temperature somewhat above its melting temperature for sufficient casting. The heat energy required is the sum of the heat to raise the temperature to the melting point. The heat of fusion to convert it from solid to liquid. The heat to raise the molten metal to the desired temperature for pouring. This can be expressed as H equals to rho V into Cs multiplied to the difference between Tm and T0 plus Hf plus Cl multiplied to the difference between Tp and Tm. Where H is the total heat required to raise the temperature of the metal to the pouring temperature expressed in joules. Rho is the density expressed in grams per cubic centimeter. Cs is the weight specific heat for solid metal expressed in joule per gram degree Celsius. Tm is the melting temperature of the metal expressed in degree Celsius. T0 is the starting temperature. Hf is the heat of fusion expressed in joule per gram. Cl is the weight specific heat of the liquid metal expressed in joule per gram degree Celsius. Tp is the pouring temperature, expressed in degree Celsius. And, V, is the volume of the metal being heated, expressed in cubic centimeter. Now, when heating is completed, then comes pouring the molten metal. For this step to be successful, metal must flow into all regions of the mold, most importantly the main cavity, before solidifying. Factors affecting the pouring operation include The pouring temperature Temperature of the metal introduced into the mold Here, superheat is important, the difference between the temperature at pouring and the temperature at which freezing begins The pouring rate The volumetric rate at which the molten metal is poured into the mold Two slow rates will cause freezing before metal fills the cavity and excessive rates will cause turbulence And the turbulence which are the sudden variations in the magnitude and velocity throughout the liquid. It tends to accelerate the formation of metal oxides. It also aggravates mold erosion due to impact of the flowing molten metal. So, we have discussed in details about heating the metal and pouring the molten metal in casting. Thank you.